I'm Steve Brown, Senior Staff Writer for The Leading Edge. I'm here in New Orleans today at the SEG Annual Meeting with one of the technology leaders in our industry, Dr. Lucy McGregor, Chief Technology Officer of Rock Solid Images. What first attracted you to work in the field of geophysics? I think it was the excitement of studying the planet that we live on. It's a fascinating and wonderful place full of interesting things and interesting people. Um, and uh, 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 also the, the um, ability to travel and see the fascinating and wonderful place that we live. That's very exciting. Tell us just a little bit about what the role is of a chief technology officer for a company in the geophysical industry. So I work for a company called Rock Solid Images um, and we provide reservoir characterization services to oil and gas companies using seismic data, electromagnetic data and rock physics. Um, one of the interesting things about my role is it's extremely varied. Um, not least because of the different technologies we use, but also the range of problems that we see from our clients. Um, so part of my role is about um, ensuring that the, the services that we provide to our clients are high quality, and they provide valuable information on which to base decisions. Uh, another part of my role is ensuring that the company stays ahead of technology trends in the industry, um, which I do through talking to clients and understanding their needs. Um, and coming to trade shows such as this and listening to what's going on in the industry at large. Well, you mentioned technology trends, and as you're here at the annual meetings this week, listening to presentations and walking the exhibit hall, what are some of the major technology trends you see as being important ge in geophysics right now? What are the technology trends that are getting you excited? I think at the moment there's a, a, a very exciting trend towards um, data integration. Now, that means lots of different things, um, and it's happening in many different areas of the industry. Um, within the geophysical realm, it's all about putting together data sets that are perhaps quite conventional, like seismic data sets, um, with data sets that aren't. Uh, so electromagnetic data sets, gravity magnetics, and even in some cases, geochemical data sets. Um, all of this provides information that is superior to the information you get when you only consider one data set on its own. Um, so the trend we're seeing today is disciplines coming together um, to provide robust information about the Earth based on multiple different types of data. We're obviously experiencing a fairly major downturn in the oil and gas markets today. What do you see as some of the ways technology can help companies weather this downturn? Well, I think even in straitened times such as these, work still continues, decisions still need to be made, um, wells still have to be drilled, um, so the industry continues. Um, in times like this, though, um, there's a huge drive to doing that. Uh, better and more efficiently. And I think that's where technology can play a big role um, by um, improving the information that's available to decision makers. Um, some of the integration trends that we're seeing is doing exactly that um, so that, that better decisions are made based on more robust information. Um, and the other way that technology can help, I think, is in improving the efficiency um, of getting to that information so that it can then be used in the decision-making process. So we're also seeing um, workflow enhancements, um, enhancements in computing technology that, that reduce the turnaround time uh, to produce the information on which the decisions are made. So I think the way technology helps is by allowing um, geophysical companies such as us um, to provide better information that allows better decisions to be made in a more efficient timeline. Thank you very much for joining us today, Lucy.